Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and I am back with the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Alrighty, we're about to continue with another main quest. We're gonna do Echoes of the Past. We need to go and meet Yennefer, so let's do this! No mad, I say! Where is Maybe, the but I've got good reason. I hold Siri dear too! You know this damn well! But the mask of Orberus is no trifle! Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Any idea of the consequences? No, but neither do you. So stop panicking. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Don't exaggerate. It's just... No, Geralt. This is no just. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. That sounds like a bunch of bullshit. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? What was that? No. Yennefer's used the mask. Ah, oh, shit. Not good. Follow me. Ah, uh, I'm going, bro. See you later. Man, I thought I would get to make a decision, like, to use the mask or to not use the mask. That is the question. But, you know, hey, it's whatever. I'm kind of glad I don't have to make that decision. I hate making decisions like that. I'm coming, baby girl! What's going on down here? Oh, shit. Great. Oh, don't worry. Oh, what the hell? Use my damn spell. Oh, God! Fuck you! Piece of shit! Get your ass over here. Oh, I hate these fucking things. They go invisible. Come here! Oh, you fucking dick. They dodge like a beast. I see you. I just can't hit you. Because you are bitch! You dead, motherfucker. Nah, nah. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. What the fuck? Okay, now I've seen some people talking about this, and I just realized that this is so fucking true. Okay, that's a different voice actor, because the normal Garoff voice is so monotone and, you know, there's no enthusiasm in the voice. That voice sounds so different to me. 
and people have actually said this that they could swear that the voice actor changes now I don't know it could be the same guy but it's really all about the enthusiasm in the voice that is crazy maybe like they messed up and they had to come back and like redo some lines or something I'm not too sure but that is really really inconsistent what now the mask reveals the past but only in certain places places where past events left a strong magical imprint take it want me to wear it yes I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes oh my god I can't take this dude seriously like the way he says that what murder what gonna read my mind again you object you do it whenever you want anyway no harm in it then is there let's go already found the first spot well alrighty cool we have it equipped where's my loot give me my loot yeah that is hilarious though if you guys don't believe me just rewind the video and listen to it and then listen to the new voice it's crazy all right let's go come on Yennefer where is it this is the spot put on the mask Any instructions keep it on until we've seen everything and don't stray far telepathy is limited in range what's that a portal two people emerged from it the woman was Siri how can you know the way she moved like a witcher seems they went that way come let's find the next spot okay lead the way let's go god damn she is so sexy I love that outfit it's amazing That's that. oh you know what's funny I just thought of this right well ready use the mask all right one second anyway uh, Yennefer said that she was gonna put on some traveling gear and I think that's kind of a joke because every outfit she wears is the same. It's always the black and white outfit. And somebody is screaming. What the hell? Okay, let's do this. Oh, shit. Watch out! Oh, damn! What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. All right, let's go. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Oh my God! So it switched back again. Now we're back to the real Garoff, the monotone Damn, guy. Damn, you're ugly. Hello. <laughs> Oh, you piece of shit! Uh -huh, uh -huh. Guess not. Oh, I got the mask on! Yes? Oh shit, what? What are you doing? Come on, girl. Oh, look at this. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped! Through another portal! Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's got to be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Oh my God! So now we're back to the other guy. This is crazy inconsistent. I'm telling you, it's all about the enthusiasm in the voice. That's probably it. Could be the same guy. It's just throwing me off. Don the mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. Ah, the elven mage. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well, but the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. 
Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Oh my god, we are back to the monotone. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? You know what's funny? He said that you can only use the mask once. But I used it multiple times, bro, and it worked every time. Just saying. We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet. But we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her. Then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Alrighty. Flying in that direction. Let's do this. Okay, so now the puzzle is coming together, basically. What has happened is, uh, Sorella, she went ahead and she was running through the forest, I guess, and her and maybe the elven mage, they, well, at least she left, and then she ended up where the crones were, where those old ladies or those evil witches were. And I don't know what happened to the mage, so we're gonna figure that out, but I'm liking this. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Do it, baby girl. Geralt, please move before I'm forced to play. Hey, you told me to move. You didn't have to stop talking. Oh, shit. Is he dead? Oh, dude, he's dead. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Ciri. But... why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. <sighs> Tis true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, Mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women. And an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindusfjall, but if I remember correctly, Lofoten should be this way.
Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Alrighty. Let's do this. What's going on, people? Hello. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeletal horses? Wearing frost-covered armor? Aye. That's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men. Like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came. Cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. Only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Go on. I ran out to get help, to get Leif. But so many bodies. Yole, Ingvar, little Neggy. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea. Through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This... this Ciri... Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And, and her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska... Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the Elders wrong only if he killed Morkvag. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Okay. Yeah, I have already done this. I did this side quest already, where we had to go and kill this monster in the garden. This Morkvog. Half man, half wolf? Yes. Won't bother you anymore. Already killed it. I know. Craven went there before you, but has yet to return. Didn't see him in the garden. Doesn't bode well. Don't know if there's much point in going there. Even if he's dead, we could find some clues near his body. Let's hope. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Wink, wink. Alrighty. 
So, we have to go what are you gonna and do, do this like now. This? They're not okay, well, I've already been in the garden. No, I didn't pay any respects to any gods, just saying. Alright, I'm gonna cut this ahead, and I will see you guys in a moment. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Oh, good idea. Alrighty, so... I've already been here, like I said. I've already killed a monster. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. You can't help me track him, so I don't see any reason for you to go down there. You're right. Besides, trudging through mud in these hills would be murder. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown, how to sell Kaer Morin out from under you. Go already! <laughs> nah, nah. Alrighty, let's check this out. What the hell? Ah, uh, oh, I see. You know what's funny? When I was doing this quest, I, ke I kept seeing these footprints, and I was like, What's up with the footprints? You know, this is crazy. And yeah, turns out that it was for this quest. That's ridiculous. I thought it had something to do with the werewolf that was here. This is a really cool quest. It sucks I can't do it, but you know, hey, it's whatever. Okay. Now, I know I opened up some doors. So, let's look around. I think we can come in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Roots. So, I'm right under Yen. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me! Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, alright? That's Yen. Charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Ugh, putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. But I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Black magic's no joke. Casting those spells never ends well. Never. I don't like it any more than you do, believe me. But the thought that Siri is in danger? I like that even less. I understand. Still doesn't give us the right to... Geralt, please. This is not the time to debate ethics. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. Geralt, you're getting on my nerves. I offer you solutions, you try to poke holes in them. I'm not poking holes. Just thinking about the consequences. How about you? Giving them any thought? No. Geralt, I'll say it again. We're short on time. Siri is short on time. Mm. Fine. You busy yourself pouting. I'll handle the rest. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. Ha <laughs> 
Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I... Uh, have... You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. A young woman. Ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She, she's wise. Curse me. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No! Speak! <laughs> Speak! She, she fell oh, almost drowned! What the fuck? Stare. Help me. Help us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where... where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how'd I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. T'was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest. Desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. <clears throat> What's this? Did you undress me? Uh, I, I had no choice. Soaked through you were, and I had to see if you had any wounds that needed tending. Mm hmm And if my breasts needed smearing with fox tallow? Nay! Nay, th that was mum and sis. I, I'd never dare. I swear. On my honor. <laughs> Easy. I believe you. Poor guy. And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Help... Help me stand. I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl... You was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey! Fine? You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mum and I will take care of you. 
I'm sorry, but I must get to Drowned Dead Rock as fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay, but the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skial can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on! Alrighty! The man in the mask. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? I've been sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. Hmm. Okay. I really want to know who this guy is. I wonder if it's going to be like this big reveal. Or is it going to be something that I'm going to be like, Who the fuck is that? I don't know. Like, We'll see. We'll see. Come on, girl. Let go. Are we gonna get to see her naked? That would be a little creepy. She's kind of like Garoff's daughter. I don't know. It doesn't really affect us though, so who gives a fuck? I want to see her naked. She's pretty fucking hot. I say that about every chick in this game. But yeah, no, nah, she's hot, man. Alright, let's do this. Alright. In you go and get out of those rags. But all of them? I should think so. Oh shit. Hell yeah. Where do we have to go? Oh, I guess it's over here. Oh my god, I feel so naughty. Let's go. Oh, dude, we get a choice! Oh, wow, they give us a choice! Oh, shit. We're only half naked. Let's go. I'm getting goose pimples. Damn, girl! Mm. Finally! I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mom, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. What's on your thigh, child? That a bruise? This? No. It's a tattoo. So it is. A red rose. It mean anything? It's a souvenir of someone special who's dead now. I picture it already. You were promised to a handsome lad. He gave you a red rose before sailing off, but the cruel sea swallowed him. <laughs> Close. Eh, hey, child. Those bards have stuffed your head with their foolish romances. Here we are gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Say, back home, have you got saunas too? You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Yes, my ship. We set sail from Novigrad. And what brings you to Skellige? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd break Skjall's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Skull? Well, he seems nice. Oh, oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair, and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. 
Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sial's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. Okay, I was being stupid. Alright, let's go. Son of a bitch. It's just right over here, so... Shouldn't be too long. But it will be interesting to see what will happen in this place. I'm coming, Stay motherfucker! Gotta Give me my ready. horse! Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? No. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh what But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <laughs> oh, shit! Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye, me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. Oh, poor guy. His first and his last kiss. Oh, man. Bring it on, bitches. Let's do this. Rawr! Bitch, motherfucker! Watch out, guy! Oh, God. He got wrecked, that dude. Hey! How you doing? Rawr! This is the first time I fought one of those things. Rawr! Rawr! Fuck. That's right. I forgot. Her power attacks are so fast, it's ridiculous. Fuck you! Rawr! 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 Die, motherfucker! Ow! Ow! Rawr! Okay, I think we're good. Let's go get these ones over here. I'm coming to get you, bitches. Hello! This is pretty cool. We actually have to fight. This is the first time it's not been optional to fight. Because normally you have to actually, like... Well, you don't have to, but normally I just run past everything. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, God, that hurt. That hurt! Ow! Oh, oh, oh God! Ah, these guys hit hard, though! God, he hits hard, though! Okay, I gotta get my health back. Regenerate. Regenerate health. Oh, shit, it's not regenerating, dude! Ah! Ah, ah. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Bye-bye. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. What? What was that? The Wild Hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. I don't know how to thank you. You can thank me once we get there safe. Let's ride. Watch out! Ride, silly! Don't look back! Oh, shit! They're chasing me! Oh, my God! Wait for me, Faster. bro! Faster! They're catching up! I got you, bro. We gotta move! We gotta move! Out of my way! Horse stamina, please do not go away! Jesus! Are we almost there? Oh my god, it's hella far, dude. Okay. Can I just hold... Nope. Can't hold the X button. God damn, that sucks. Come on, horse stamina, come back. Oh my god, it's taking so long, and they're on my ass! They're on my ass! Goodbye! Ooh, that hurt too! Jesus, that hurt so bad! Oh god. Oh, you waiting for me? Cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Naha. Naha. 
Nah. -ha. What the fuck? Hey, look, it's our friend from the Bloody Baron. What the hell? What became of that creature? Where is he? <laughs> what? I saw him at Stonehenge. Well, shit. Anyway, well, we do know what that thing was, and we know where to find it, but I guess we're gonna have to go and track it down, although I don't know what that thing would even know. And by the way, it's kind of funny, because the way that guy talks, you know, was pretty fucking creepy. Imagine him telling that whole story the way he actually talks. It probably has been hours, <laughs> like days. They've been here for days waiting for him to finish that story. What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Yen, are you alright? I'm fine now. The spell... Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth. Or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real. But it was no longer human. Do you understand? Geralt, I know we should talk, but not here, all right? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. The garden! Our garden! How could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now! Don't you dare try to calm me! We'd every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. 
I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Kill him. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. Key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Valen, at a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse. Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad, either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Ah, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Well, alrighty. I think that's going to do it for me. I don't know if we're going to do that quest in the next episode. I think we're going to do some side quest stuff, maybe. One thing I want to do is I want to do all of the Mastercraft stuff. That means I want to do the armor, the weapons, and also the alchemy. So we'll probably try to do those soon because I think I can do them. They're around my level. And we have a lot of new side quests. So we definitely want to do Yennefer's quest and all that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to pretty much end it here. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe, and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day, and I'm poo so